guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to bake normal maps in a blender. So what I have here is just this high poly object here, but I wouldn't necessarily want something like this in my scene because it's really high poly count, right? So if I can avoid it, I would like to have something more low poly. So what I have here is this plane and this is just a low poly plane with four vertices. And what we're going to do is bake this detail onto here as a normal map. And you can see this is the normal map here. So if we render it, what you're seeing here is just a simple plane, but we've baked this detail onto onto this plane here. And you can do this with just about anything in Blender. So definitely check out this video. Um, I really think this is something totally worth learning and adding to your workflow as an artist. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up a new scene in Blender. I'm just gonna go and select these default objects. We're gonna hit X and delete. So let's just add an object. I'm gonna be using a plane. So I'm gonna go shift A, I'm gonna go mesh options, and I'm gonna add in a plane. Now plane is a very low poly object. As you can see, it only has four vertices. So go ahead, just go into edit mode. In edit mode, we're gonna go to our UV editing. And we're just gonna make sure in this window here, we can see that it's been unwrapped. Now by default, the plane is unwrapped. But say for example, you had an uh, object that wasn't UV unwrapped, what you need to do is go U and then go to unwrap. Now, if you have a more complicated object, um, what you need to do is add seams in and unwrap it. But that's a whole nother um, tutorial. This is not what this tutorial is about. So just make sure your um, whatever you're gonna be using here ha is UV unwrapped. So let's quickly go back to our layout. So what we wanna do here in our objective in this tutorial is to add a very high detail, amount of detail um, onto this plane right now. And then we're gonna bake that onto this low poly plane. So let's go ahead, shift A, we're gonna add in a UV sphere. With this UV sphere selected, we're gonna go S.1 and we're gonna hit enter. So we scaled it down one tenth of its size. Go to object and enable shade smooth. Then we're gonna to go to our array modifier. I'm gonna make this array, um, give it an array. We're gonna come here to the count. Um, just make it 12 for now. Let's see how we go with that. So I'm gonna to go to my top orthographic view by hitting seven on the number pad. So I'm gonna come here, G, and just move it over here, roughly. And let's just decrease this count till it's fitting in here nicely. This doesn't really matter, it's just for demonstration purposes. Let's copy this array modifier, just minimize the top one. And we wanna come here to the X value and just make it zero, and come to the Y value and just make it one. So now we have it duplicated 10 times on the X and 10 times on the Y, giving us a grid of 100. So let's take these guys, we're just gonna go S, Z, and just scale them down on the Z. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go G, Z, and just bring them down a little bit underneath the plane. So the objective here is to bake this really, really high poly detail onto our plane here, so, which is only four vertices, of very low poly. So what we need to do first of all is just make sure we select this plane here, make sure it's active. Let's just quickly go into our shading, very simple. Just give this guy a material by hitting new here. And all we have to do is go shift A in this node workspace, go to search and we're gonna type in image. And we're gonna get an image texture. You can go ahead and open up a blank image if you want, but I would recommend just clicking on here and making a new one. You can increase the resolution here if you want. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and I'm gonna name it normal map. So I'm just gonna call normal map, and I'm gonna hit enter. Or you can just come here and hit okay. That's gonna create a blank texture for us. It's at this point, I would just recommend you go to file, save as, and you at least just save this. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Okay, now it's quite simple. What I am gonna do is select this object here. Holding in shift, we're gonna select secondly, the plane over here. So the plane is gonna be our active element in the scene. You can confirm that by coming to your scene collection up here and you can see that the plane is a lighter orange. With that done, we're gonna make sure we select the normal map here. So this needs to be active, not these nodes here, but this one, so make sure you select it. Then we're gonna to go to our render settings and I have to emphasize, you will not find what you're looking for here, the, the bake option with EV, so we have to set it to cycles. Now, don't worry about it. You can definitely go back into EV once we're done with this. So go ahead, change it to cycles. You're gonna now see a tab appear here called the bake tab. So we're gonna click on here, drop it down, and we're gonna see some bake options. So the first thing we wanna do, very important, we wanna to come to the bake type. Make sure you set that to normal. Once you've done that, you're gonna come here and go to selected to active. So tick that. 
And you can see the margin here. I would recommend setting this to two pixels. It's essentially equivalent to the bleed you get in Photoshop or in other Adobe um, products. So a lot of people might know what that is. If you don't, don't really worry about it. It's just how much it's gonna bleed over where our um, mesh is unwrapped on the UV. Like, it's a bit hard to explain. I'll have to make a video about it, but just set it low. That's fine. And once we've done that, you've got this guy selected. You have the plane active and you have this normal map selected with a texture that we have created. Just one more time, I'm gonna go file and just save it because this can sometimes crash. Now we're gonna come here and we're gonna hit this bake button. And depending on the kind of machine you're running, it could be quick, it could be slow, but mine was relatively quick. And here you can see we now have on the side here, if we open this window, our normal map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this plane here just by itself. And let's just grab this high poly detail object down here and just hit H to hide it. So all we have here is our plane. Now what we can do is take this normal map here and we can actually plug it into the normal here of our principal shader. Then we can go shift A, go search and get a, a normal map. So just type in normal map and get the normal map. Put it down here. We're gonna take the, um, you can just place it on top of here and it should automatically put the nodes in where they should be. So just make sure the color is in the color down here and the normal is in the normal of the principal shader. Now we can come here and set the strength to 0.2. And what we're gonna do is just go back into EV. So go to your render settings, go and make it EV again. Then we're gonna go shift A. We're just gonna add in a quick light. I'm adding in an area light. I'm gonna go G, Z, move it up. R just to rotate it off to the side a little bit. Go to your light settings, just bump up the power. I'm gonna make it 300 and I'm just gonna increase the size a bit. So let's hit Z and let's go render it. And here we can see we have our normal map. So what I'm gonna do is just give the base color here in the principal shader a temporary color. And we can see we have our normals here. So we can now come here and increase or decrease the strength. So if I put it 0.5, you can see it's quite strong. But here we have something that from the distance would actually look like a really high poly object, but it's not. All we're dealing with here is just four vertices. And that's just really, really awesome. And it can really save you a lot of time. I hope this tutorial has been informative. If you did like it, please subscribe, check out some of my other content and share it with people. And I'll see you guys later for another tutorial.